All right, so today's lesson is lesson 4-7. This is in our Oklahoma Essentials book. Um, so we are trying to find correct change. So very similar to our lesson 3-0 in our Oklahoma Essentials book, Making Change, we're going to be determining the correct amount of change collected. All right, so to recap, when we are finding out how much change we need to collect, we must take the amount we paid with, Okay, so the, the money that we give to the cashier and the total cost of the items. So how much all the items together cost. And we need to subtract those two together to find out how much money we are getting back. All right. If we're paying with money. So really quickly, I just kind of want to go through this as like a refresher to our brains. So pennies that equals one cent. Nickels equals five cents. Dime equals 10 cents. Quarters equals 25 cents. Uh, bills. So $1 bill, $1, $5 bill, $5, $10 bills, $10, and $20 bill, $20. All right, so I'm going to ask you a question, and we're going to kind of go through this. We're going to go through the lesson, and then we'll come back and see if we're able to answer this question. So if the total cost of my items that I bought is $11, and I paid with a $20 bill, how much change will I receive? So how much money will I get back? Okay, so I'm going to let you think about that as we go through this lesson. All right. So correct change. This is in your Oklahoma Essentials book, your workbook. Um, we're going to do the first one together, and then I'm going to let you do the rest of them by yourself. Okay. So for problems one through four, you're going to fill in the circle next to the collection of coins or bills that shows the correct change, a.k.a. give me the answer of how much change you're getting back. There may be more than one correct answer. That's very, very crucial. Okay, there may be more than one answer. So you have to go through A, B, and C and make sure that it's not um, just one answer. Okay, so let's look at number one. It says the cost of the item was $13. Emma paid with $20. How much change did she get? So I need to take the price of what I paid with, which is $20. And then I have to take that and subtract how much money the items were. So it was $13. Okay. So I subtract that. 10 minus 3 is 7. 1 minus 1 is 0. So I'm going to get $7 back in change. Okay. Because all of this is dollar bills. So now I need to look at my answer choices. So A says I have a $5, a $1, $1. So I have five, six, seven dollars. Oh, that one's correct. So I'm going to color that in. B, $10. Well, $10 and $7 are not the same. Okay, so that would not be my answer. Now let's look at the next one. $1, $2, $3, $4, $5. $5. But each one of these Qs is a quarter. And I know that quarters are what? 25 cents a piece. How many quarters make a dollar? Four quarters whoops, equals one dollar. So I had five here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that would be two more dollars that I have. So I have five dollars plus two more dollars. That equals seven dollars. So that equals how much change I get back. So I'm going to color that one in as well. OK, pretty simple lesson as long as you know um, how to add up the amount of change that you have. So like I had to do with quarters, I had to add up four quarters equals one dollar. So if you, as long as you know how to do that, you should be able to answer your question um, fairly easily. But if you do have issues or anything like that, please reach out to your teacher um, and they can help you. All right. Good luck.